Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're on the topic of the physics of tennis this week. I happened to see this really cool viral video going around um, with the Magnus effect. And the Magnus effect is the idea that, you know, a ball that spins um, drags the air around it, especially as it picks up speed. So you saw this guy drop a basketball off of this giant dam and just with a little bit of backspin once he started to drop the ball you could just see this thing take oh, off you know <laughs> down and then outward and then he drops it with no spin and the thing just kind of drops down and peters off okay so it kind of inspired me to to bring that idea into tennis and really with a with a slice whether it's on the forehand or backhand side um, I feel like the Magnus effect is an idea that we can have especially when we are in trouble, okay? Because if I, you know, barely get to a ball, let's say, I'm stretched either wide on that backhand or that forehand. <laughs> Just the fact that I kind of start to get some backspin on that ball, even if my technique isn't great, my weight transfer is not there, that spin, the fact that it's dragging the air around it, is going to get that ball to really release out over the net a lot better than if I'm in trouble and touching it without spin. Okay, so we just want to know kind of the ideas about how to spin the ball, how to get out of trouble. I think you guys will see that, that basketball video and like me, I was just enthralled by it and I was thinking, all right, out on the tennis court, you know, let's make sure I understand that that is a great way to get me out of trouble um, when I'm stretched wide on my ground strokes. All right? So that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoy it. Please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.